Hey guys, Fan of Gaming here, and today I've got something quite different. I've got Deus Ex Human Revolution, as you can see. Uh, it's kind of an unwritten rule of Let's Playing that you don't do something that's very new, or anything that's overdone, and I have a feeling this is going to be both, but I'm breaking that rule because I'm a punk, and I want more viewers, so... Don't judge me, please. Alright, so, start a new game. Um, this is a very difficult game. It's quite challenging. I'm very tempted to pick the easy difficulty, but I'll go ahead and pick the hard difficulty because I love you guys. Now, uh, in the future, I'll skip the loading screens, even though they do contain some pretty neat tips. They just last a bit too long. So anyway, this came this game came out on the 23rd, I believe, in in the states. Uh, if any of you guys are out of state, you probably won't have gotten it yet, depending on when I upload this. That's okay. This is gonna contain a lot of spoilers, I'm sure. So, if you watch it, please be aware that the LP is going to contain spoilers, and please keep them out of the comments, just in case no one, um, and just in case someone decides to read the comments but not watch the video. So, then that's about it, I guess. Um, it's a pretty cool game. It's a sequel to Deus Ex and Invisible War, which was a sequel to Deus Ex. And, um, well, it's not that similar to Invisible War, really. It's quite, it's pretty different. The combat's much nicer, I think. But the rest of the game, it's just, it's got a different style to it, slightly. Just, just slightly, I think. Alright, here we go. Cutscene, I believe. Cutscene. Watch and enjoy. everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control their post rates. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Syrif is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Syrif wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body to claims made by biotechnology expert David Serif, the expert David Serif, that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Serif Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? 
Yeah, I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. All right. So this is the tutorial level. Uh, I, I'm not going to pretend like this is a blind run. I have played through a fair bit of the game, but um, that's not important right now, is it? So uh, I, I'm not going to read these things, but I will pick up every single one of them because sometimes you get experience for it. You can pause and read it on your own if you want, but I really don't care about that. Uh, there's also these newspapers. In a second. Uh, yeah, it's not interesting at all. Um, so, I have to go with her. Uh, and I'm not moving now. The game is uh, putting me on a rail. And I cannot control it. So, what I'll just shut up and you guys can listen. How you found it. Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric. You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading that turns from my theory. Company. I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. Not all Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie! Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the back blast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did he destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah, never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. Want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. 
Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT. And you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers, Athena. It transmits data to our dedicated satellites every 10 feet. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explained it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection six. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. All right, so I have control now. And uh, that was the part of the tutorial. The tutorial is kind of lengthy, but I should be able to get it done in the first two videos. Okay, I have to enter the code. I happen to know it is 0452, I think. No, that was wrong. Uh, what was the code, boss? You need to know what's happening, Adam. Use Come my on. elevator. You know the 0451. code. 0451. What did I say? 0452? Uh, 0451. Okay. Alright, so we're using the elevator now. Sweet. Pritchard, where's oh. Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, hmm. but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Pritchard? That's an oddly Pritchard. specific maximum load. 963 pounds? It's really, really specific. Okay, so, this is the actual tutorial. I don't need to, like, follow it, obviously. But look at that, this person is dead. Well, they're not dead, but they will be soon. Oh, How sad. Oh, she's dead now. Okay. So I've been trying to think of what character, what kind of character I want to play as in this LP. On my own game, I've been kind of like, I'll kill you if you get in my way, but for the most part, I'll try to be nice and peaceful and loving. Uh, in this game, I think I'll just be like, I'll try to kill as few people as I possibly can. But enemies are fair game. If they're an enemy, I'm not going to feel bad about killing them. But I'll still try not to if I can avoid it. So that guy, he just killed these two people. And, um, he, he's a jerk. He, he has got to die. I'm gonna kill him no matter what. Um, I happen to know there's a grate behind here. Oh yeah, and if anyone is really evil, like if I see someone killing civilians, they die. Yeah, I'm not gonna have mercy on the complete jackasses. So, the tutorial is very misleading. It makes the game look very linear, like not open whatsoever, like a complete tunnel shooter. But it's not like that. The tutorial is completely different from the rest of the game. And, uh, let's open this door. So, there are people in here, I think. Let me move over here to this window and look. Uh, there are no people in there. There's a robot arm, but there are no people. I guess I'll just have to run in and uh, take cover quickly. Oh, there they are. Oh, oh, they killed civilians, so they have to die. Alright, hang on. Watch this. 